Hello everyone, this video shows a simple way to code two nested loops. So this would be uh, two dimensional code if you were going to do heat transfer, time varying heat transfer, this would be one dimensional. So you'd have one dimension of time and one dimension of space. So we start off with our clear all, close all, CLC. This clears the, com clears the workspace, closes all figures, and clears the command window. I have a counter here, uh, just because I usually start with a counter. Then I say, so I have two for loops. I have four i equal to one colon one colon ten. So this is telling i, the variable i, to go to go from one to ten by one. I this is sort of redundant. You can leave it out, but um, I like to specify it specifically. And then I start a second loop. For j, so we're using ij notation, j equal to 1 colon 1 colon 10. So j is also going to move from 1 to 10 by uh, by 1. And then x is equal, x of i comma j is equal to uh, the counter, count 1 plus j. And then uh, ct1 is going, or counter, yeah, ct underscore 1 is going to increase by 1 every time. Uh, this loop runs. So it's going to increase not only 10 times when the loop runs the first time, but then J is going to get reset every time I is going to iterate. So you're going to you're going to walk down through the, the code. It's going to go, all right, it's going to run this bit of code, define CT1, get to this for loop, start the loop, start the next loop, and then run this loop to its duration. Then it's going to go back up and start the, this next loop, uh, which will then again run this for its duration. And then you'll end up running uh, this loop ten times, uh, since this loop is going to run ten times. So it's very simple. We can run it and then look at the output. And if we look, we have a a ten by ten variable where we've we've defined i is rows so i is in this direction no i is rows so rows are this direction and j is columns so j is in this direction it's uh rows then columns and that's a, a basic way to code a uh two nested loops so once again this would be for one dimensional heat transfer if you were doing it transient over time Hope you find this useful and have a good day.